Alright guys, welcome back to Barbells and Burnouts. We are here with Josh in the garage. What are we doing, Josh? Putting on valve springs. Alright. LS6 so, valve springs. This is the, kind of we almost done this with our last build this, part of the video. I gotta do a fuel pump, that's it. It don't take long. Right. It's not gonna take long. So it's just the second to last part thing. So we're putting on valve springs for it. Which kind of valve springs you putting on the car? LS6 valve springs. Mm-hmm. Got that one on. So right now we'll put on the valve springs and and new seals and different uh, three 8 push rods. Mm -hmm. It's all there. So I mean, when I got it all open, then you can do all of it at once. So it's not a, it's not like I gotta go take something else apart. It's all right there. So, um, got a little homemade uh, valve string tool. It's a rock on, welded to a lever, and so you you know screw it down and you rock on hold. It's half a bolt right there, and you just pry it down. You can show them when I'm putting it. I'm gonna do this next one. Right mm -hmm. Sounds good. All right, Josh. So which valves and springs are you going with? You said it was the LS6 ones. Which ones? Is LS3, it? LS6, LS9 springs shall all be the same. LS2 shall all be the same. The blue springs. The original LS6 springs are yellow, like in the original LS6 you know, car, like this um, the C506. But when you go and buy them anywhere now, they're not gonna be yellow. They're gonna be blue. Mm -hmm. um, they all have about the same, um, if not very similar, very, very similar uh, spring pound. So they all should be the same. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, they all should be the same. I'm going to readjust this one. Which one do you want? Thank you, sweetie. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this one out. Find out. It's, it's, high, it's tall. It's high enough. So you don't want to push the. You want so if you if you can push the rod, uh, the valve down with this lever, you don't want to. You want to try to impact the loose. like that. So it breaks that. Give me that magnet. I'm gonna get a light. I'm bring that light over here in a minute. Let's see if I can do that. And I can take the two retaining clips off. And here we go. Mm -hmm. And then pull that love back. Spring, tank clips all together. Just that one tool that quick. Mm -hmm. So, what I do is come over here. And I gotta change the seals too, so I do that. Put the container here, put the clips here, put the magnet, and I got some, uh, let's see, I'm just getting started, so I didn't even know where I'm okay, so put those there, so I gotta change the valve seals out, so these are kind of, these you gotta kind of pull out, okay, I gotta make sure that valve, if it goes down, no, it's, that valve's in a good spot. You need to take some pliers and be really careful because you don't want to scratch up your, your actual valve because that runs down in your sleeve. Seal. And then, uh, I don't know why these are made like that, but they're like separated. Mm -hmm. from the uh, flat piece. Mm -hmm. It runs real fast. And uh, so I have to use the magnet. Come back over here. I just kill myself. Be careful. Mm -hmm. And I'll get the magnet to get the rest of it. So these two kind of go like that. And this kind of defeats the purpose. You would think they could connect it, mm -hmm. but they're not. But see, if you look at this valve seal and you look at the new ones I got, yeah, this is what the new ones look like. They're all in one piece. Mm. See how they're connected? Yeah. So when I push it down there, this is kind of just wedged on the like sleeve for the for the valve, and this is just at the bottom. I don't know why, but this literally has play in it. This can just jump up and down. Really? But well, it can't really jump up and down because the spring's holding it down. But with this. It's just a one piece, you just slide it on. And mm -hmm. usually the five threes and six holes I took apart, they're made like this anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't know why this is made like this. 
You know, it's LS, not uh, it's actual LS. Uh, it makes no sense. Uh, it made me think somebody maybe went in there, but maybe they did that that year. Mm. Uh, maybe they started with, you know, one style sleeve. Uh, one one piece sleeve with a seal, maybe like after a certain year. Like I bet you the old two Camaros got you know these here, not this brand, but that style. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, I've been taking these and putting it down here. I want to look and research that. So after I get my seal, don't really put any oil on it. You want to tap them in because they have to be tapped in. So just if you if you look. I'm taking my seal here, I'm bringing it down, and I'm putting it, I don't know if you can see, you might want to put your light on. I'm putting it on, I'm going to pull it up, and I'll take a socket now. You can take a 22 socket, and uh, Make sure you're not touching the valve steam at all. And that seal is down in there. Mm -hmm. And the valve can go up and down. It's moving. And now I go ahead and I can go ahead and put my spring on. So that's one done. I have to move this out the way. I say hang it from the top now. I think it won't reach. Uh, so I need to get an extension. So, as you guys can see, we have all the springs and the valves in on this side, and all the springs and valves on this side done. It only took us what? Not too long. Not too long, not too long at all, all right? And a couple of issues with the one on the cylinder eight. I mean, that's in the very back. Mm -hmm. This cylinder eight, all the way back there, guys, so you can see, you can see the difficult tight spot especially with the uh relocation of the alternator <clears throat> right but as you guys can see um basically that's it what do we have to do next guys that's some big old 3 eighths push rod i'm just gonna put them in there i'm just gonna set them in there for right now mm -hmm. and tomorrow um come back and put the rock on and put everything back together and then i'll probably start on the fuel pump and i'll come get you mm -hmm. we'll, get, we'll get that done that sounds good. And that's those are the last things we need, right? That is really it after that. Then we're just gonna get it to them. Then there'll be a dollar video. Ooh. Literally, that's Look it. Look at all that. Alright, so as you guys can see, it's very, very almost done. We have what? What? Two, one or two more videos before the review? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And not much at all. That's it. Alright, if you guys enjoy the content, remember to like, subscribe, share. Um, comment below. What you guys think it's going to make. I know what he's going to make. Uh, we said, uh, we gave a number in the first video. But we'll see if we get that. We don't know it we'll specifically. Kid, I, don't, I don't know how this kid going to do it. But mm -hmm. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. I'm not really, I mean, I'm being happy with anything more than $5.90. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm going to make that at least. Unless I have some kind of leak somewhere. I'm losing pressure somewhere. Either pneumatic or through the exhaust. But the way it goes, I'll be happy with it because this is my daily car. Mm -hmm. That's the fast car. That's the beast over there. So y'all see that. I just like the marrow. It's more like a, more like, man, I got the power when I want it kind of car right here.